This very ground that I lay my feet upon used to be the center of the world for the Ayeli and Alohi Cherokee Indian tribes. Trails radiated from many different directions. They met with white men from Augusta to trade. Also a notable passenger pigeon spot. In the autumn, they would migrate here such volume that they would break tree limbs. And this rock commemorates the exact spot. In fact, the assembly grounds. It looks like they're making a fish cabin too for the center of the world. It opens in three days. You can still hear the drills. Full bore. Look at this bore. Hi. Hello. Everything's like all made. We did it. Except for that little stuff right there. So, in the yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, nice ambient look. I didn't think it was this one because it actually looks pretty old out there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said it can't be that building because it looks old. I tell you, only in the south can somebody both let you in and not only let you in, but talk to you for like 30 minutes about everything there is to do in this area. They certainly got a lot of heart over here, especially in Hartwell. <laughs> Brett Hartwell. You quit your horsing around. Yeah, full-sized horse, huh? And a dog. Can't forget the Coke memorabilia. Always gotta do that. And this amazing amount of real and fake animals. Look at you over there. Fame, here I come. Look, look at all the animals. Come on. If I don't get famous by this, come on, who am I? Right? You gonna make me famous? Yeah? Yeah, make me famous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that, YouTube? You like that? I can see the sponsorship dollars flowing in as fast as your tail is wagging. Oh, you're trying to tempt me, are you? It's good, but not good enough. Coca-Cola was first bottled here in 1905, along with cotton, dams, courthouses no longer standing, railroads, newspapers, women. March 22nd, 1918, America's glory years of organization. Put up these rocks behind me, and no one knows how they came to be. Does that seem like too many amount of things? <laughs> it really does. <laughs> the yeah. first time, I don't know, it doesn't open, so you gotta open it. You're more along, you look through those until you like one and then you take one. Oh, cool. And that's all. They're like my business guards nice. for random people when they run into suitcases. <laughs> Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy you already fit these things and these feel like oh, oh yeah. perfect. But usually I go in the other way, but for some reason I'm just trying a new thing. I don't know why. I'm like, yeah, just just give me 20 minutes and you're gonna be like, whoa! I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's all in there. Like, Pretty cool guy. He even has some unique business cards right here. Everyone is an artist of life. Why not make it a masterpiece? Crazy story to these guys. I don't know if you can hear that cow in the yonder distance, but I can certainly smell him. Whew. Doesn't get any more of a country smell than this. But this is a very interesting story. A couple of towns over, Elbert is the granite stone monument capital of the world. And this monument was made from a company over there. A man by the name of R.C. Christian came into the town saying this is a fake name but can you make me a monument then you'll never see me again he dropped fifty thousand dollars in a local bank and left with this guy right here in the middle of newburgh georgia 
for the middle of nowhere, Georgia, they certainly have a lot of cameras. There's four right there. Another one right there. I mean, come on. Are these stones really that important? Well, that guy I was just talking to, who was playing the music, seems to think so. These are the Georgia Guide Stones. They were put here on March 22nd, 1980. And some sort of conspiracy theorist people love this place because that is the same year George Bush became vice president. And Ronald Reagan was shot by a person who was friends with the Bush family. Very popular tourist spot. If you're into the conspiracy bits. Oh, and you can tell what languages the, uh, the guide stones are in. Russian, Chinese, English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Arabic, and Hebrew. Some dimensions to it all. Sponsored by a small group of Americans who seek the age of reason. Time capsule placed six feet below this spot to be opened. Blank. Here's the dead languages. Babylonian cuneiform, classical Greek, Sanskrit, and Egyptian hieroglyphics. Let these be guide stones to an age of reason. When was the last time you've seen hieroglyphics? These conspiracy theories really don't horse around. Get it? Anybody? <laughs> From a fake one to a real one. Who knows what this hole means? Probably like an Indiana Jones type of thing. The light has to hit that hole so perfectly that the floor is gonna drop out. All these things are gonna move forwards and backwards and stuff. <laughs> Just like that brick wall in Harry Potter. Written in all these languages. Anarchy. English. Russian. Kind of a Stonehenge of sorts. Georgia's version of a Stonehenge anyway. You can see them right here. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely. Improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Be not a cancer on the world. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. So good he had to say it twice. Look up uh, the skull and bones. These things were put here on the same date that their special number is 322. These guys were put here 322, 1980. Not sure. I, I, I'm not really super into conspiracies, but... If you'd like to dig deeper on this one, I'm happy to start the rabbit hole, you know? I'm not sure how true any of this is. I guess that's the nature of a conspiracy theory. You can see there's a little chip out of this guy right here. There used to be, two or three years ago, a mason mark. A guy came in and chiseled this piece out, and there was a mason mark. He put in another piece, and it said, M.M. Freemason. But then the police came over and chiseled it back out. Obviously they weren't a fan. Or maybe the police were just saying, hey, don't give away our secrets. How many times do you think Hillary Clinton's been here? I don't know. I got this weird crick in the in my armpit. I've never had it before. It feels like I got kicked in my armpit. But I'm going to try and rest it out. Get into those conspiracy theories and I'll uh, see you tomorrow.